What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video, Silver Dust. There is changes coming to it in the way we can actually acquire it. So roll the intro and I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so this coming straight from Cosmo on the forum of Bungie, he says upcoming changes to Silver Dust. There has been some great feedback about the Silver Dust economy. Here is a preview of what is coming. So after this little rundown, I'll give you my ideas and opinions on what I actually think should be happening with Silver Dust. But let's get into this. So. They start off by saying, some changes are coming to Eververse, and you will see these to begin to roll out in small steps, beginning with an upcoming patch. We are currently working and investigating several changes to the Silver Dust economy to improve the player experience. We want to ensure that players who are completing Rise of Iron's pinnacle challenges feel rewarded for their success. With this patch, Trials, Wrath of the Machine, and Iron Lord arm ornaments will no longer require Silver Dust to apply. The Silver Dust requirement for applying exotic weapon ornaments will remain as the Silver Dust required for application is provided by the Radiant Treasure Box. Year 1 and Year 2 Iron Banner armor found in Destiny Iron Engrams and on activity completion of Iron Banner matches was incorrectly dismantling into legendary marks. With the patch, these items when dismantled will now yield 1 Silver Dust. These changes are being made to promote a positive player experience, as well as accommodate future changes and balances to the Eververse and Silver Dust economy, which will be revealed in a winter release. So, there is big changes actually coming to Silver Dust. Now, these changes aren't as drastic as I was really hoping. Yes, they have now given us an ability to get and acquire Silver Dust. I mean, yes, dismantling a good item or weapon from Iron Banner does yield you that one silver dust. Is it really worth it? In my mind, I honestly don't think so. Actually getting rid of one piece of armor or weaponry that is actually from Iron Banner, the dusty iron engram, stuff like that, where you've actually gone through and completed whatever it is. You've actually achieved something. You've acquired this and now you're getting rid of it for one single silver dust. I think that's pretty shitty. They need to actually change up the way that silver dust economy is working, not just the way they're doing here. Yes, this is a good start, but there has to be more ways to actually get silver dust. Now there needs to be something in game, like possibly from heroic strikes you get one silver dust or something just from completing it, you get those three silver dust through the week from completing that, possibly put it in for, I don't know, something that's not really being used, possibly prison of elders, that is just sitting there, so many people have forgotten about that, I myself had forgotten about that, kind of, I'd been doing Archon's Forge for like, just so long. I forgot that it was actually even a thing. Went back and did it and I was like, holy shit, this is actually fun. Like Prison of Elders, it actually is a good mode. All the things that are available in Prison of Elders, holy shit, pretty freaking cool. Why don't you actually just go through Bungie and put some silver dust in there? That's going to give a lot of people some positive experience towards, I don't know, say an activity that is now almost dead. That's just my kind of opinion on it. I also think that there has to be a way that uh, Silver Dust is, um, the way it's used, I guess, let's put it this way. Zor. Why the hell? Why is it so expensive to buy weapon ornaments from Zor? That in itself, I think, is pretty freaking crazy. Let me know in the comment section what you guys actually think. Let me know if you think these actual changes are viable or they should be doing more for actually allowing us to get more silver dust and the way that silver dust is working in game. Yes, it's pretty freaking cool. Wrath of Machines, Trials, and Iron Lord armor no longer require ornaments. Weapons still do, of course, exotics and all that good stuff. But 
Let me know what you guys think should be changing, what changes should be coming. If you did like this video, leave a like down below, leave a dislike if you disliked this video, however, leave a comment and tell me why you disliked it. But until next time, do all that good stuff, share this video around because it seriously helps out the channel, it helps out me and it seriously helps you guys out. It gives you guys more opportunity and more chance to actually see my content. So until next time. Do all that good stuff, and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was at cheering. But until next time, this is Zach Novak, signing off. Peace out.